are you setting, Sean? Uh, I'm trying to do like something around the three range with these really cool pink. Um, take a look at them. They're so cool. How, how would you even describe these? The Tegan series from Kilter. The Tegan series from Kilter. I'm trying to set something fun and kind of on the easier side so that people get a chance to play on them. Just massive, kind of slopey, but with these nice edges around so you can still grab them. Cool, cool, cool little prongs. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but we'll see. <laughs> what are you gonna set? I'm gonna set a really funky start on these kingdom climbing holds. And it's just gonna be funky and cool. There's gonna be these big green knobbies. Yeah. What are you set, Max? I have no clue. I'm just hoping it turns out to not be a piece of junk. Well, you're using the scariest holds in the entire yes. gym, so. <laughs> so. So hopefully it's a fun piece of junk. What are you gonna set? Got a set. It's beautiful. Something with these purple holds. I have no idea what it's gonna look like yet. Um, but I like to just start out with like an idea. I just like to find some shapes that are cohesive uh, and let the holds inspire me. So we'll see what ends up happening. Is that in a yellow? Is that yellow? That's more like blue. I thought it was blue. Yo, am I sweaty? So I'm setting this green one over here in the in the dihedral. Yeah. Um, that's a whole bunch of little like I guess like ledges, you know, or, or jugs, but placed so far up into the corner that you can only kind of fit your fingers in them like a finger crack. And I'm trying to get like some layback action, maybe some stemming all the way up, just making all of these really nice holds a little bit mean. I think I'm gonna try to get a dino right here. Big old dino. So I set this purple problem a little bit ago um, with the intention of having something that's a little body tension-y, so you have to use your core a bit because the wall is a little steeper. So we start out with both hands on this big hold here. We come out here and then we have some feet so we can uh, shift around like our center of balance come up before we kind of twist through on this pocket to come out to this big rail that we match with both hands. We get our feet nice and high so that we can really push up, move our hips into the wall, and get to that finished job. I'm gonna put on my shoes here, show you what it's all about. So, uh, going up this inside dihedral, we've got a number of crimps and kind of like turns turn on their side and place so that you only have kind of a finger cracks worth of, uh, you know, uh, give that you can, you know, actually get in there. Um, so it starts pretty low. Uh, let's see how it runs.
how I wanted it to feel. A little awkward, <laughs> but uh, cool. So, this is your start hand. Are you serious? Okay, yeah. And All right, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god Oh <laughs> <laughs> I got it I got it I got it All right. <laughs> oh, you can't use that to start like that. You have to start with your hands on the start. It doesn't count. Your hands can't touch that hole until you touch the start hole first. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible, dude. <laughs> It's the consideration yeah, nice. that counts. Yeah, Steve, come on. Nice. Alright, how you doing? That was cool. Like a fun V4. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. <laughs>